Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 18th annual commencement ceremony for Boynton Beach Community High School. I'm Dr. Lockhart, the proud principal of Boynton Beach Community High School. In a moment, Daphne Cadiz will be presenting our Pledge of Allegiance. The daughter of Matita and Lange Cadiz is our Student Government Association President. In the fall, this National Honor Society member will be attending Palm Beach State College, where she will be majoring in psychology. As we welcome Daphne Cadiz, please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the National Honor. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watch, were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting. Hello, and congratulations to the high school class of 2020. You did it, own it, be proud of it. You are a graduate of the A-rated school district of Palm Beach County, and that says a lot about you. And while we're passing around virtual high fives, let's reach out to your family and friends who are joining us from your home, online, or on TV this evening as we mark this milestone in your amazing academic career. They played a very big role in your success, and we applaud them. Seniors, although we are physically separated this evening, make no mistake, we are united in our admiration for your success. Class of 2020, let's get real. How remarkable and ironic it is that you devoted the last 13 years of your life to education. While some of the most poignant and everlasting lessons you have learned occurred, over the past two months, during the final stretch of your high school career. The district's theme heading into the new year was 2020 vision. Now that's ironic. 2020 vision? Nobody saw this reality coming. A pandemic named Corona, or translated crown, because of the way the virus appears under a microscope, changed life as we knew it. It may look like a crown, but let me tell you, it's been a royal pain. So let's reflect for a few minutes. For 13 years, you learned vocabulary. But again, some of the most memorable words or phrases you will never forget, you learned over the last two months. For starters, social distancing. As a society, we thrive on camaraderie, collaboration, and community. Think about that. The things you probably took for granted two months ago are now more important than ever to you. Being in a physical classroom on your campus with your teachers, classmates, and friends, sitting side by side. The loving hug of a grandparent that is just too risky to share right now. Going to the beach or the mall, spending birthdays together, or here's a big one, celebrating your graduation. Distance learning. If someone had said to you that you would be spending the last two months of high school in a Google classroom, full time from home, maybe even in your pajamas, you would have thought they were crazy. 
but that's exactly what you did. You and your teachers pivoted with remarkable dexterity and efficiency and just made it work. Essential workers, that includes our medical heroes and also the many other brave souls who didn't have the luxury of staying home. The people who we depend on day in and day out to stock our grocery store shelves, to deliver food and prescriptions, to serve the more than two million free meals that the School District of Palm Beach County has distributed to students since our schools closed on March 13th. Okay, in some cases, our heroes do wear capes. You, our esteemed graduates, are also essential. You are essential to your families, to your friends, and to the future of our country. You may feel isolated and frustrated right now, and that is understandable. But I also hope that you take great comfort in knowing that we are all in this together. Your lives will be forever influenced and many decisions shaped by this unprecedented global fight against coronavirus. These are not times to forget. Years from now, when you reflect, this just won't be a frightening time of inconvenience and uncertainty. You will view this as a challenge that you conquered. It's made you stronger, resilient. It's taught you the importance of fraternity, family, and friends. This collective disappointment that you and the entire global class of 2020 is experiencing is valid. You missed out on all of those rituals and traditions that many graduates before you probably took for granted. But I also believe that this current state may very well end up being your most profound catalyst for accomplishing great things. A springboard to your future success and how your journey will leave permanent footprints and impact future generations. You have the power to make sure that your children and grandchildren never experience anything like this. In the class of 2020, we have future doctors, nurses, scientists, and mathematicians who may very well develop the solution to eliminating future pandemics, or at the very least, make our world more fundamentally prepared for the unexpected. We have future business leaders and lawmakers who will demand more efficiency and oversight. You have future bankers and stockbrokers who will work amid a new economic and financial order. We have future educators who will teach in a whole new way while also reminding generations of students of their potential. They will deliver that lesson from the wisdom of knowing tough times and the experience that comes from adapting and rising to a challenge. I encourage you to channel any negative thoughts and use them as a source for motivation to set personal goals. Stay on course and use the redefined 2020 vision to be laser focused on discovering what will make you feel fulfilled, accomplished, and appreciated. If you believe in yourself, if you remain true to yourself, continue to educate yourself, you'll have everything you need to find the right path for you. Many of you are now the first in your family to graduate high school. That's fantastic. Your parents are beaming with pride. Every parent and guardian wants their child to have a better life than they had. You are proving today that is possible. Despite what the news and the headlines and what the social media might tell you, the future is bright. I know that it is bright because I know you. This class, the class of 2020, has already had a profound impact on your community. Your principals, teachers, and I were humbled by your altruism as you supported the people of the Bahamas who were devastated by Hurricane Dorian. You sent supplies, equipment, and money. You've cooked up and provided meals for the elderly over the holidays. You've created programs such as We Dine Together to ensure that no student sits alone in the cafeteria or courtyard during lunch. You sent a contingent of students to Tallahassee to lobby elected officials for additional support regarding mental health for students and staff, not of concern for yourself, but out of concern for your peers. For these reasons and countless others, I know the future is bright. You are the sum of all of the great things that you have done, that you are doing, and that you will do. Walk with your head up and your shoulders back. Be proud of who you are and where you come from. Since becoming superintendent, I've looked forward to shaking the hand of every graduate who crosses the stage. That's about 14,000 hands each year. I regret that I won't be able to take part in that annual tradition. But please know that I look forward to the day when our paths cross and I congratulate you in person. No matter where your journey takes you after high school, and may that journey be extraordinary, my hope is that you will return to our community with your hard-won wisdom. 
and play an instrumental role in our future growth. You will be welcomed with open arms. In Palm Beach County, we always leave the light on so you can find your way home. I want you to stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay strong. You are the class of 2020. My name is Erica Whitfield, and I'm one of your school board members. Graduates, I want you to know, even though we're not able to celebrate you in the traditional way, we are all still so proud of you and all your accomplishments. For those of us who had a small part in your special day, your graduation means so much to us. My wish for you is that you will go forward and have a positive impact on your world. As you can tell from our last few months, each and every one of you is an essential part of our future and your talents are needed now more than ever. Huge congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. I wish I could be there with you today to celebrate your success, to shake your hands or to give you a hug. You are the historic graduating class of 2020. I know that you are going to go out and do great things and make this world a better place. Congratulations, graduates. The next speaker is our salutatorian, Cole Lytle. Cole is the son of Kristen and John Lytle. Our salutatorian earned a 3.94 grade point average and a 5.1 honors point average. He is a four-year member of the Boynton Aerospace Science Academy with a concentration in aviation. He is the president of the Drone Club, president of the robotics team, and he has earned over $115,000 in scholarship money. He recently won an internship with Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation. In the fall, he will be joining the Honors College at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where he will study aeronautical science with special emphasis in air traffic control. Please welcome Cole White. Hello, teachers, parents, administration, and most importantly, fellow graduates. The day has finally come. We made it. Class of 2020, today is the day that your senioritis is finally cured. Today is the day that you can turn off your alarm clock, the warning bell ceases, and you no longer have to be startled by an impromptu fire drill. On a serious note, making it through our senior year is something that we should be proud of. As freshmen, somehow already four years ago, we walked the halls of Boynton Beach Community High School for the very first time. At that point, we had not the slightest idea of what was in store for us. Throughout these four years, we managed to adapt and adjust. We became resilient, driven, and some of us more independent. The past two months, we lived what we thought was our dream, not having to get out of bed in order to attend school. I can quickly learn that my dream was flawed. And I also learned that if I knew on March 13th, when we walked out of school, that I was concluding the high school chapter of my life, I would have looked back one more time. For all of us, this is the commencement of a new beginning. Whether you're joining the workforce, going on to serve our country, or going on to further your education, remember to keep hustling. I'd like to take this time to express my gratitude to the teachers and staff at Boynton Beach Community High School, as we would not have made it here successfully without their help over these past four years. At this time, I would also like to thank two teachers who have assisted, edified, and impacted me greatly. Mr. Herzberg, without your corny dad jokes and your deep investment and enthusiasm regarding my education, I would not have the knowledge and memories I have today, and I know that you will have a long-lasting impact on your students in years to come. Mr. Nelson, on the first day of freshman year, you accelerated my transition from middle schooler to college student, as well as making my four years not only more livelier, but bearable. To both of you, I will be forever grateful. I would also like to commend all our parents and influential people in our lives, as without them, we would not be where we are today. I cannot go on without taking this time to thank my family, as without their unwavering love and support, I would not be the person I am today. Mom, thank you for being my rock, biggest cheerleader, and in introducing me to Starbucks coffee. Dad, if it weren't for you funding my caffeine addiction, and providing tech support whenever I needed it, I would not have made it throughout high school. To my fellow classmates, getting to know and grow with you all over the past four years has been a more than wonderful experience I will never take for granted. I will be forever grateful for the friendships I've made in high school as they have turned me into the person I am today. You've all made an impression on me in one way or another, and I will keep that with me. To close, I want to leave you with a quote by the late Walt Disney. 
All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Thank you and congratulations. Our next speaker is our valedictorian, Riley Schwartz. He is the son of Allison Chernikovsky and Michael Schwartz. He is also a four-year member of the BASA program. He is also a member of the Drone Club where he was the key sponsor and coordinator of the Fixed Wing UAS project. He has his private pilot's license. An interesting story about Riley is that he took his first flight when he was 14 years old. That means that he was flying before he could earn a driver's license. Riley earned a perfect 4.0 GPA and has a 5.16 HPA. In the fall, he will study aeronautical science with a minor in business management at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, where he has earned over $112,000 in scholarship money. Please welcome our valedictorian, Riley Sweets. I'd like to extend a quick thank you to the family, friends, and faculty that have helped me get to where I am today. I would not be giving my speech if it wasn't for you. Thank you very much. I was asked I had to write a speech for graduation, and after contemplating for a bit, I decided that I was gonna share a personal story of mine and tie it into graduation. I wanted to pick a story that was groundbreaking, earth shattering, life altering, some personal story that I could captivate my audience with. Then it occurred to me, I have never experienced something like that. I don't have a groundbreaking, earth shattering, life altering personal story. And if we're all being honest with ourselves, you might not have one either. So then this begs the question, what happens when that day comes? How are we gonna face that challenge? Will we pull through and save the day or fold under pressure? One of the first challenges I remember facing was learning to play piano. I've been playing for eight years and while I enjoy it now, I used to really struggle with it. I had a little blue book filled with simple songs and exercises like playing with two hands or playing chords. A couple times a week, I would sit down at our piano and practice songs in this book. At some point, I hit a song I really struggled with. I practiced for many hours, but I just could not seem to get it down. There were days that I got so frustrated I felt like quitting, but I didn't. I kept practicing and practicing and eventually it clicked in my head and I was able to play through the whole song. I was able to overcome that little obstacle and even though it may not have been significant to other people, it was very significant to me. That little accomplishment is what allowed me to become a better musician and even though I'm not perfect, I'm improving every single day. So what does this piano story have to do with graduation? I had stated that at some point in our lives, we will all face a groundbreaking earth-shattering, life-altering event, but what if just described to you as a small accomplishment? Well, what if I told you it's not? Even though just finishing a little song on the piano is a small accomplishment, it's an accomplishment nonetheless. And while it may not be groundbreaking, earth-shattering, or life-altering for you, it was for me. I'm sure now that as I mention it, there are many small accomplishes, accomplishments you've completed throughout your life. And while they may not be big to the rest of us, they're meaningful to you. Think about it. Making your bed in the morning is an accomplishment. Doing your homework is an accomplishment. Walking the dog, making dinner, getting an A on that test, those are all accomplishments. Even if they're small in the grand scheme of things, they're important and they matter. And those small accomplishments pave the road to, for you to achieve bigger accomplishments. I started playing Itsy Bitsy Spider on the piano, and now I play Liszt and Chopin and Mozart. You and I, and each student in the class of 2020, completed their assignments, got good grades, made new friends, and is now graduating, which is certainly no small feat. You can see it's a domino effect. Smaller accomplishments lead to bigger accomplishments. So when that day comes, when we all face our groundbreaking, earth-shattering, life-altering event, the little accomplishments we've done throughout our lives will have prepared us, just like all the little accomplishments throughout our academic careers have prepared us for this graduation. Boyden High Class of 2020, while this may not be the graduation we've envisioned, I wish you all good health and bright futures. Thank you and good luck. Above and Beyond was the theme for the class of 2020. When it was presented, we had no idea that this year would challenge us, challenge them in so many ways. Scholars, each challenge presented a new reality. Whether losing a home or a loved one, you went above and beyond. Your response to every issue was exceptional. Today, we celebrate the fruit of your labor. Please allow me to share three essentials that will be identified with the graduating class of 2020. Gratitude, service to others, 
and something of value, the class of 2020. Scholars, you should not cross a bridge without thanking the person who built it for you. There are some outstanding people that sit in the front row of the audience in your lives. Mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, grandparents, friends, and neighbors. These individuals are what I call bridge builders. One by one and name by name, please honor these craftsmen and women, your bridge builders, by thanking them openly. Now, I'm gonna give you a few moments to share your gratitude right now. I feel the love. Service to others. We have all seen what the coronavirus pandemic can do. Neighbors, family members, and friends have all been affected. People are hurting all over the world and need help. The COVID-19 has also brought people together. The governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, on April 24th, read a letter, letter that typifies service to others. I am retired. I am a retired farmer, hunkered down in Northeast Kansas with my wife, who has but one lung, and occasional problems with her remaining lung. She also has diabetes. We are in our 70s now. Frankly, I'm afraid for her. Enclosed, find a solitary N95 mask left over from my farming days. It has never been used. If you could, please give this mask to a nurse or a doctor in your state. I have kept four masks for my immediate family. Please keep on doing what you do so well, which is to lead. Sincerely, Dennis and Sharon. Muhammad Ali said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room in heaven. Finally, something of value. I love my wife. Sure, I tell her that, I love her, but telling her is never enough. I like to show her with gifts. This past holiday season, I wanted to get her something special, something of value. I asked my fellow colleagues for input. It was unanimous. These ladies suggested that I get her a purse. Know this, I am not an aficionado when it comes to women's purses. I mean, I own a few backpacks, uh, bags, but that's it, no purses. If you are not familiar with this culture, please know there is an entirely different world when it comes to women's purses. Go to the mall. I go to the mall to get a bow tie, maybe a shirt. I had noticed that there are entire stores dedicated to women's purses. So to purchase this gift, I went to the mall, went to the store. I picked out the purse. I paid for it. Then I asked the gentleman to please place it in a bag. You know, I didn't want to walk around the mall with this purse. He looks at me and says, I'll take care of you. Don't worry. I didn't realize that these purses have special bags. I mean, you get a purse, but you get a bag to put the purse in. I didn't know. So I get my bag and decide to get something to eat. This is when the magic happened. As I walked to the food court, I noticed that people were looking at me. I tried to dress well, but I didn't deserve this amount of attention. These weren't short glances, but long stares. I quickly realized it wasn't me. It was this bag. I was getting smiles from everyone. A person approached me and asked, is this item that you have in your hand for me? I said, no, sir, not today. It's for my lovely wife. People were looking at me, and I, I'm trying not to look at them, look at me. With all that excitement, I got lost. So I went to the gift wrapping section to ask the ladies for directions. When I approached them, I said simply, ladies, I need some help. Their collective response was enthusiastically and energetic, how can we help you? Make no mistake, it wasn't me, it was the bag. It was something of value. Graduates, you have earned something of value. By the time this ceremony is viewed, 
many of you would have already earned a credit in ACE or AP courses. Through industry certification, many of you will have earned the right to work in the medical field, information technology, educational institutions, and yes, airports. Ladies and gentlemen, our graduates can educate you, guide you through the digital highway, help save lives, and fly you anywhere all over the world. And if you have air trouble, they can help fix the plane. That's right, the class of 2020, I want the world to know that you offer something of value. Our students are not restricted to the academic accomplishments alone. They also have earned tens of thousands of hours, community service hours. Our scholars have fed the hungry, provided clothing, clothing to the needy, mentored and tutored students, and cleaned our environment. Scholars, we celebrate you. We celebrate you earning your ACE diploma, your industry certification, and yes, your high school diplomas. It doesn't matter if you earned one, two, or a combination of the aforementioned, we honor your sacrifice, your hard work, your dedication today. Scholars, I am energized by your accomplishments. You, the graduating class of 2020, have gone above and beyond. You are the mark. Now, it is my honor to present Boynton Beach Community High School's Class of 2020. Riley Schwartz, Valedictorian. Cole Lito, Salutatorian. Shania Delise. Damaris Gutierrez. Rihanna Lewis, Kaizea Samuel, Alexia Zimmerly, Miana Scott, John Vo, Alexander Beluccio, Zaimani Dominesh. Sabrina Dory, Dawson Fox, Leonor Lindsay, Jaden Lemus, Ruth Alix, Robertson Robert, Fabienne Jerome. Warren Pierre, Mikea Berg, Julia Lafortune, Laurent Cynthia Esteban, Jonara Lester, Ichlinski Jean Claude, Jolina Henry. Dasha Ortiz, Yumoria Frederick, Jennifer Cheriscart, Luca Corden, Joaceline Francois, Janika Luptamar, Daphne Abelard. Martiel Albert, Verwain Alexander, Cassandra Alexandre, Denley Alexis, Alexander Jeans, James Alexandre, Lucensicar Alias. Nashka Alias, Edwin Andres, Marquesia Andrews, Nayalise Aponte, Jessica August, Kendra Aurelis, Paul Axiloti. 
Schneider Azor, Margarita Badillo, Ali Baker, Andrews Baran, Lamar Barker, Johnny Bolen, Corey Bell. Amilcar Benitez, Mitchell Benoit, Charlie Beverber, Naika Bienemé, Javante Brinson, Finashka Briseus, Makaya Brooks. Nicholas Brown, Jasmine Brown, Charles Bryant, Carmen Cavalli, Valentina Cadamo Grisales, Daphne Carius, Mavia Calex. Yud Camius, Jennifer Camillus, Destiny Campbell, Cleveland Campbell, Daphne Cami, Gloria Satut, Mark Charles Charlesine. Bercini Cherry, Eliza Jingua, Anthony Clark, Janisha Coleman, Edgar Contreras, Charles Crooks, Jennifer Cornet. Kyla Corporal, Aldo Cosilian, Justin Cox, Navia Greenshaw, Janae Cruz, Jaylene Cruz, Cynthia Cruz Norzia. Damiz Da, Chanel Dali, Alia Dames, Stevenson Daniel, James Dow, Renagia Derisaw, Tamar Davis. Esther Dizan, Midawika Delom, Rose Deliska, Anastasia Demesmen, Yuvensky Demesmen, Lori De Morizi, Kaina Denise. Rishada Derastel, Clovis Desinor, Brianna Diaz, Richard Diodon, Jonathan Dillon, Junior Domingo Francisco, Alexis Domingo. Dijeri Donishian, Tatiana Dorsey, Tatiana Dorset, Jasmine Drummer, Micheline Dubot, Kimberly Ducasse, Colin Dune. 
Tyler Dykes. Jeminda Elise. Mervens Estimable. Ayani Iwan. Kiana Fanfan. Wells Farina. Yuresta Fizeme. Paris Fitzritson. Dominic Flores. Lyman Fontalina. Azavian Foster. Orlando Francisco Jimenez. Makayla Frederick. Janaya Fulton. Markendi Gassant. Nathan George. Zachary Gill. Alexia Gillspie. Tyson Gladden. Camilla Glover. Okazga Glover. Deltrick Gordon. Elizabeth Grandjean. Sierra Grassell. Donovan Griffith. Jesnoder Guillaume. Kalia Ham. Janaya Hankerson. Isabella Henson. Anosha Harmon. Tegren Harris. Bailey Hawkins. Frida Hernandez. Giovanni Hill. Derek Hodge Jr. Rodlins Hora. Rodley Hora. Adriana Hunt. Tylene Hunt. Akasha Hussain. Maisha Embert. Didier Jean-Baptiste. Daniel Jean-Baptiste. Giovanni Jean. Luke Jean. Ernst Jean. Jamarcus Jenkins. Lidiana Gen Jerome. Beverly Jessica. Moses Jimenez. Curtis Johnson. Johnny Joacilus. Zoriah Johns. Tasha Brian Joseph. Rolanda Joseph. Yalimar Hovo. Juan, Juana Juan Domingo. Amaris Junius. Kiera King. Leonard Laforest. Richard Laguerre. Donnie Lee. Markel Lois. Vanip Lixima. Logan Lockhart. Ashley Lopez. Linda Luima. Carlos Louis. Madoche Louis Jeune. Vanessa Louis. 
Euseline Louis, Ashley Louis Dor, Brian Lucatero, Parker Luca, Stephen Ma, Jehina Makaju, Jason Madeus. Mariela Manuel Francisco, Lukinson Marceline, Rose Wendy Mardi, Wickenly Marius, Eulalia Margarito Jose, Genesee Marin, Tabitha Marshall. Heidi Matteo, Steve Maturin, Jordi Matul, Lindsay Maurice, Tyler McEwen, Clintroy McLagan, Jordan McNeil. Evelyn Medina, Adrian Mercedes, Rina Merci, Edwidge Meritil, Saraja Michelle, Wilma Michelle, Shakida Micheli. Noe Miguel, Maria Molina M Ramirez, Gabriel Montez, Jeremy Moore, Shakia Moss, Roslinda Milsen, Abdul Latif Nakibenji. Jean Napoleon, Shwana Narcisse, Adrian Nelson, Lorraine Nicholas, Akim Noel, Kara Noel, Justin Odell. Alia Paul, Michael Pearson, Andres Perez Cleros, Alina Perez, Tenzi Petit Tom, Rikia Petit Tom, Nicolo Philippe. Will Philibert, Kubi John Pierre, Wadeline Pierre Louis, Gabriella Pierre Louis, Carla Pierre, Mag Darlene Pierre, Maula Pierre. Bradley Pierre Jeune, Zamir Pitts, Jessica Polcaro, Mori Polcaro, Ember Powell, Tolula Rival, Juan Ramirez Pasquale. Ramon Ramos, Ludmia Registre, Shyland Registre, Michael Rene, Samantha Rene, Brianna Riddles, Trenton Robinson. 
Joa Carlos Rodriguez, Christian Rodriguez, Pablo Rajo, Diamond Rocker, Bill Ramelus, Renaud Saint Just, Phoenicia Saint Louis. Woodsy sent four. Cassandra sent four. Teshka Salomon. Wislencia Sano. Yaritza Santiago. Lucas Gabriel Santos Morera Machado. Jose Santos. Noah Jose Sarabia, Leo Sears, Fabiola Sejour, Devon Seliti, Brianna Shaw, Ian Shimkowski, Timia Silas. Tara Sprang, Janika Saint Fleur, Destiny Straw, Shukal Sutton, Curvance Sylvan, Kayleen Talvo, Angelina Tojour. Barry Taylor, Jashante Taylor, Tamia Tedius, Gerlens Telo, Riche Teli, Darwin Timothy, Lakendria Todd. Sheree Tucker, Corey Tyson, Sabrina Valsius, Jose Valdez, Teresa Valega, Maria Venegas, Yadonika Vilseus. Gianna Vilsent, Gerdiana Volmeus, Brianna Whitehorn, Nathan Wickham, Kyle Wilk, Don Williams, Richard Williams. Luenzi Wilson, Tianika Wilson, Ayani Wright. Seniors, please stand. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to present the Boynton Beach Community High School Class of 2020. You have met the requirements that have been established by the Board of Education and the state of Florida. Ms. Cadiz, if you would, please. Seniors, move your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. Dear parents, guardians, students, and friends, this is a wonderful day and a tremendous occasion. Our seniors, the graduating class of 2020, have earned the right to be called graduates. I am so happy to have served as their principal. As proud as I am to commend our scholars, please know that I cannot celebrate them without acknowledging some extremely important people, their teachers. We have experienced many challenges this year, yet through it all, 
our teachers have responded in amazing fashion. I am proud to work with people who care more. Our teachers embrace their duties with compassion. They work long hours, often seven days a week, to help our students maximize their potential. Our teachers make personal sacrifices so that our students can create better lives for themselves and their families. Our teachers have consistently gone above and beyond to support our scholars and our community. On this day, we see the evidence of their hard work. I am so proud of our team. Their collective efforts are worthy of admiration and appreciation. I celebrate our students. I celebrate our teachers. I celebrate Boynton Beach Community High School.